hello everybody and thanks for tuning in oh boy after a little bit of uh, scouting around uh, I think I've settled on my first composition and that happens to be right behind me oh boy all right if you look right here you can see there's a tree that's actually fallen across uh, just to the side of this uh, little stream that's here uh, on the on the right and if you look over on the left hand side you can see the uh, the nice fall colors uh, on the leaves and uh, this particular tree has multiple portions to it uh, all branching off to the left well uh, this kind of this kind of grabbed my attention and as you know I like to photograph a lot of trees and uh, you know that have fallen and uh, and catch them in that natural state uh, sometimes you have some pretty interesting uh, interesting configurations of the uh, of the branches. Sometimes they've fallen on top of other trees. And uh, sometimes it gives you a pretty interesting uh, image that uh, perhaps could lend itself maybe to an abstract image or possibly just a decent uh, woodland photography shot. And uh, I came across that and uh, I have everything set up here. Now the light is changing considerably uh, as I speak. Uh, the sun is actually out but uh, it's partly cloudy today. and. Uh, I'm having to constantly kind of uh, adjust the exposure on the camera, but uh, I'm pretty sure I can come up with something with a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, persistence. All right, let me show you what I have. All right, let's see. As you can see, I have the shot set up, and uh, this is the uh, composition that I have. You can look and see the uh, the fall colors on the uh, on the fallen tree over to the left. And you can see the tree extending all, all the way across to the uh, to the right. Now, if you look here, you have a lot of branches that are extending outward. And uh, I thought this was a relatively uh, interesting configuration on everything. All right, I have the tree basically the uh, the bulk of it in the lower third of the frame. And uh, if you look in the back, uh, I've got some highlights here. Now, I have a polarizing filter on the camera uh, to minimize that. And if I look at the histogram, uh, actually that should be okay. Uh, what little I should be able to bring these highlights back uh, in post without a problem. Nothing is severely uh, blown out. So actually that's balanced all the way across the histogram, uh, which is good. All right. And uh, let's see, I'm at f-stop 16 because I want maximum depth of field on this. Uh, ISO 64 and uh, basically one-third of a second and here's the first shot all right and there is shot number one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take probably two more shots and i'll just vary the exposure just slightly and uh I think this is going to work out very well. All right. So now I'm going to uh, move on to my next composition, which is exactly right, <clears throat> right on the other side of the tree. Uh, there's a nice little area back here that uh, I've never actually photographed before, and I'd like to take a shot at it now. So, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I've got my next shot uh, all set up, and uh, it's right behind me. Uh, let me go ahead and take you to the back of the camera and show you the composition I have. See, if you look straight down, you can see the, uh, the stream is right here. Let me get the histogram out of the way. Uh, you can see a little water here. And this is actually winding uh, straight down. Now, what was grabbing my attention earlier were the configurations on the sides here. Now, right now, the light isn't quite hitting it the way that, uh, that it was earlier. Well, that, it just happens that way. Uh, it probably took me about another 20 minutes to get down here to get this set up. And in that time, the light changed. Now, I did take a couple of shots earlier uh, when there was more light, but uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and take this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm I'm stopped down at uh, let's see f6 f stop 6.3. Now I want uh, plenty of depth of field, so I'm going to go down to f stop 16. And let's see. Let's bring the exposure up. Check my histogram. And I think I will go with that right here. Now, the highlights are getting pretty close to clipping, but that shouldn't be a problem at all. And uh, I'm not all the way to the left. So that's, that's actually looking pretty good. All right, I'm going to focus for about this area here. All right. And a lot of times what I do is... Uh, I autofocus for that area and then I switch everything back into manual. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to, uh, to get the focusing on the back of the, uh, the viewfinder. And I don't have my glasses today so that complicates things. All right. Everything's looking pretty good. Now of course what's spiking right here is the bright sky. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second image and lower the exposure so that that's not uh, overexposed. And then I will blend that in later on in Photoshop and post. All right, so here's shot number one. Uh, one half second, f-stop 16, ISO 64. All right, and there's shot number one. Now the second shot, I'm intentionally going to underexpose the sky until it's no longer clipping. So keep an eye on the histogram and I'm going to increase the shutter speed. And bingo, that looks good right there. And now it's no longer clipping. And I'm going to take this shot. Now I've got an eighth of a second at f-stop 16. Okay, and the only thing that I will do later on is I will simply blend the sky in with the properly exposed image and uh, I'll have an image that's uh, exposed properly throughout the entire uh, image. All right, uh, that's shot number two down. Now, I'm going to head over and try and get one last shot. Uh, I've been to this area quite a few times, but I've never actually been to this particular spot where I'm photographing right now. But there is one spot that I have been to a couple of times, and that's probably about a five, ten minute walk from here. So I'm going to head over there, and uh, there's an unusual tree I'd like to photograph. I've d photographed it once before, but I really don't think I did it justice. Now, I hope I can get over there before the light changes too much. And uh, once I get to the tree, you'll see exactly what I mean. So, I will see you shortly. All right, I've made it to my next composition. And if you look right behind me, you can see this unusually shaped tree right here. And uh, this is a tree I've had a chance to, fo uh, to focus in on and photograph uh, one other time before. But as I said, I didn't think that I had done it, really done it any justice. And unfortunately, uh, I've lost all of the light. Uh, there's a hill right here uh, to my right. And uh, the sun is actually dipped down below the hill. It's pretty high. So very little light is falling in this area now. Just, just a little bit. But unfortunately, it's not hitting the tree. But uh, I'm just going to do the best I can with it. And uh, I'm going to get a couple of exposures and see what I can do with it in post. All right, let me show you what I have the composition set up and uh, you can see this tree has a very nice and unusual configuration to it uh, one side is coming up here uh, you have another uh, side of the tree that's branching out from the left and then you have one right in the center and you have some vines here that are coming up uh, 
I wanted to actually photograph this from the other side, but uh, uh, there's actually more illumination on this particular side of the tree. So this is what I've got. All right, uh, the histogram actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's a it's a bit too far to the uh, to the right here, but that's because of the bright sky. And uh, I may take one more shot just to kind of reduce that and try and just paint in the uh, the lower exposure later. Or I may just may leave it the way it is and just uh, bring down the highlights in post. I think I'm kind of leaning toward the latter. All right, I've got, uh, I'm focused for the first tree here. Uh, F-stop 8, ISO 64, and this is one second. And here we are. All right. And that's one shot. And just for good measure, I will slightly bring the exposure down uh, for the sky. And I'd say that's good right there. And I will take one more shot. All right. And that's actually three down. Well, all things considered, uh, I thought today was a, a pretty productive day of, uh, of woodland photography. Uh, it's always great to get out, like as I said before. Uh, I haven't been out and done any woodland photography in some time, so uh, this is just what I needed. It's just what the doctor ordered. All right, I was able to get three shots, and uh, I'm going to get back home and uh, start processing the images and see exactly what I can uh, get out of them. All right, well, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to comment, like, and please subscribe. All right, until next time.